Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. I told you that director Nate Nelson was in the house and he's here on Bounce Around Charleston. Welcome, Nate Nelson. I am so honored. Thank you, Pastor Miller. I'm so honored. We just finished with the Moja Arts Festival. Yes. And the Low Country Voices did a phenomenal job. Well, thank you. And uh, I have to give kudos to our promoter and sponsor. And uh, that was you. I was saying <laughs> to several people, I doubt it that we were going to have the audience that we had, but it was sold out. And that's all thanks to you and the great work for Low Country Voices. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. So now, I was reading that there is a black Broadway musical on the horizon. Yes, it is. So we're currently in production. I cannot give out because we're finalizing the final details, yes. but I can give out the, uh, the rehearsal schedules and some of the literature that we're going to be um, uh, performing. So we rehearse every Monday night at Allegro Music School of Charter. It's an old Garrett School campus, 2731 okay. Gordon Street in North Charleston. And uh, I'm just looking to have fun. The choir has just started production uh, with music in that. And so we are every week learning new literature mm -hmm. and also looking for new people who want to come out and be a part of that. And this is every Monday night? Every Monday night. At so what time? 5.30 to 7 is when we rehearse. Um, if you are looking to audition, you contact Low Country Voices at LOL.com and let us know that you want to be added to our auditions. Um, and then Thursday nights, I work with our soloists just to make sure that we are um, Broadway ready. Now, when you say black Broadway musical, what kind of music are we talking about? So what we wanted to do is um, highlight those uh, Broadway shows that really had an all African American or even African literature mm -hmm. cast. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're going to pull some of them from your era, Pearly. I don't know if you remember that. I remember Pearly. Uh, Broadway uh, show. Uh, we're going to do things like Up to Date, The Color Purple, mm -hmm. The Lion King, uh, of course, Porgy and Bess, because mm -hmm. that it's happened here in Charleston, and so you can't have a Broadway show without Porgy and Bess. And so we're looking to highlight those type of uh, pieces and, and kind of making sure that our low country flavor is also enhanced in those Broadway musicals. So, okay, so when individuals call to audition, right. so when they come on the set, is there any particular type of music they should be prepared for? So anything that they feel comfortable with, um, that's either show choir or either just a regular solo, just to get a taste of your voice. Uh, we've had folks who've auditioned just to be a part of the choir and we've had folks who auditioned to do some of the literature that we are doing. Um, for instance, we have The Color Purple, mm. uh, and we're gonna take some of that music from the Broadway musical, but we're also gonna do some of the music from the actual movie, wow. because everybody knows The Color Purple. <laughs> uh, and so those, when they contact Low Country Voices L at LOL.com, we will send them what our repertoire list is. Okay. And if they're uh, want, wanting to audition for a certain piece, we will listen to them. Okay, so now, um, you, you're auditioning for the choir and the soloist. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, so now, if I come and audition, will you all tell me? In a, in a nice way. Come we'll, on. We'll tell you now, if you hey, made the cut hey. <laughs> or not. <laughs> but we'll be gentle. No Simon Cowell, but we'll be gentle with you and let you know. Uh, if we feel like you could be better suited in the choir or if you actually made the performance to be one of our lead. Yeah, because you, you need to know. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that uh, making sure that people are comfortable. We have a lot of folks who have done music before and hadn't done it in 20, 30 years and have acted in mm -hmm. high school and college. And so they want to brush off those skills. Mm -hmm. Come on out and, and let us give you a, a hand to make sure that you are stage and performance ready. So, okay, so then should I start um, Googling? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so what I did is uh, I sent the choir several links to all of the Broadway musicals that we're going to be doing, or just to get an uh, understanding of the actual history of the musical so that you can get into character and also know what we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, but once they email us, we'll send mm -hmm. them the links and then we'll also send them what our expectations are of them for that actual performance. Why did you feel that this type of musical was so important? 
Well, at the time, I, I planned this concert about two years ago, and then somebody just recently uh, did another version of it. I just felt that we have always, our choir has always looked at African American, preserving African American literature. Mm -hmm. And um, it was so funny because I was watching uh, what's happening now yes. and seeing that we have so many of our fine actors and musicians that came from the Low Country, whether that be Charleston or a little further yes. up, mm -hmm. and never really got their just due. Um, in Broadway, mm -hmm. or that there are, are several uh, movies now that are coming out. Dream Girls is one of them. Yes. Uh, and so those um, type of musicals never really got their just due. And I thought it would be good to highlight the talent here in the Low Country, but also bring a little Broadway to the Low Country so that our folks can enjoy the type of music that we've either heard on the radio or seen uh, in the movies. Uh, and just be a part of just something that's historical here in Charleston. I think this might be, I'm not sure, but one of the first times that we, this is our premiere of Black Broadway here in Charleston as, a, as an organization, so. I've seen your choir, I've heard your choir, and you have a very diverse group of, of singers. What pushed you to do this? Uh, I, I'm so grateful for the singers that dedicate their time uh, and their lives, but uh, we've always, um, all of the choir members have always worked hard on preserving the African American mm -hmm. literature. We've done an array of music from mm -hmm. Bach to mm. Beethoven to Kirk Franklin to Richard Smallwood, um, and even have done some jazz uh, standards. But I think that we just always want to stay true to the Low Country. When we first started, we started off to be an educational group that will make sure that we preserve mm -hmm. our, our heritage. And so um, looking at what's that next step. And my choir, they just want an opportunity to perform outside of our regular performance. Wow. So um, we have people who act, and they wanted to have a time just to not have anything formal, but to enjoy themselves and have their families come out and enjoy the evening. So it's going to be black tie events, and wow. they wanted to do all. They wanted to do the Broadway experience, and so I wanted to give them that. So I'm excited for them. Okay, so what else are you all doing? So March 26, uh, we have not been to Kiowa in several years since the pandemic happened. We're going to be at Holy Cross, um, March 26, and uh, I'm so happy. He's a two-time Grammy winner. Yeah. Charlton Singleton is going Whoa. to be our special guest. And so we're going to do uh, some uh, some music that we may feature on Black Broadway, but just an array of gospel, jazz, and um, some spirituals. So that's going to be at Holy Cross on May, March 26th. April 29th, I mm -hmm. believe is the date. Mm -hmm. uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. We have the special guest, this gentleman by the name of the Reverend Randolph Miller <laughs> uh, is going to be with us in Albemarle County. Stanley County uh, is hosting us mm -hmm. for uh, one of their arts festivals. And so we're excited to be performing uh, there. And then in the spring, later on this spring is Black Broadway. So we have three shows that we are simultaneously rehearsing for. Uh, and looking forward to performing. Well, I think it's just wonderful that you all are doing all this. Thank uh, you. Can you give us the date and time of your rehearsals one more time? So every Monday night from five or evening from 5.30 to 7.30 is our rehearsal. If folks want to audition, I may hear them on the Thursday night for auditions, and that is also going to be from 5.30 to 7.30 with an appointment at the Old Garrett School Academy campus, which is a Lego Charter School of Music right now. Okay. Right. Director Nate Nelson, we want to thank you for being here on Bounce Around Charleston. You right. heard it. Thank you. Black Broadway musical. If you're a singer, check it out. We'll be right back after thank this break. You.